Hello everybody, and welcome back to, wait for it, wait for it, Paraspera, uh, which has eaten Little Dizzy, there we go, Little Dizzy's back. <laughs> uh, my name is Dizzy, uh, that's Little Dizzy down on the bottom left there. Uh, this is a, a, a silly builder, or perhaps the word might be colony builder, where we are an AI building a base on Mars. Uh, I tried this out during its Steam free weekend uh, on Saturday, I guess, and I really loved it. I recommended it to people. They really loved it. Uh, and so I bought the full game uh, and also possibly some DLC. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, it's a little loud in my ears. I hope it's an okay volume for all of you at home. We are just waiting for Mars to appear. He's being a little slow though. Ah, we have a Yi! Hi there, Yi! Uh, congratulations on not being dead. Also, the game has crashed. So, <laughs> there's that. There's that good news. Um, <laughs> oh, there's no need to apologize, Yi. I'm sorry to hear that you've been having hard times. Uh, I hope that we can at least make a couple hours of those times feel less hard. Okay, we're, we're, we're trying again with the game. Hoping that it doesn't die this time. <laughs> Many pride loves you. Many pride loves. Now I did fire this game up off stream and it didn't crash and burn horribly. Uh... Uh, what game? This is Per Aspera. This is a, a Mars based colony builder. Uh, uh, it, mm -hmm. <clears throat> a Mars based colony builder that's not doing so well right now, it must be said. Wake up. Okay, we're in. Uh, we've got a little new dialogue thing, um, but first I just want to kind of introduce everyone to the base. Uh, so this is this is Mars. Oops, not quite that much Mars, please. Uh, I don't know if how many people are, are familiar with the geography of Mars, but this is it. Uh, we have landed on this place called the Certus Major Plan, or whatever the hell that is. Uh, specifically, we landed right here. This is our landing site. Uh, and from there, we have built out this little network of roads and buildings uh, to do various things. Mostly what we're doing is extracting resources. So we have iron mine, carbon mine, uh, generic chemical mine somewhere. Where's the generic chemical mine? Um, that's the chemical plant. Oh, maybe this is the generic chemical mine. Uh, we've got a silicon mine. Aluminium mine. That's mostly what we're doing here on Mars, is, is mining stuff and taking it to factories uh, to turn it into various useful things like steel or generic electronics uh, or generic polymers uh, and then using those to build more things. Uh, and when we left off uh, on Saturday, the last things we built were a food factory and a spaceport to uh, bring in people, which is terrifying, because up to this point, I don't know where they are actually. Uh, is there going to be one at home base? Ah, here's one. Up to this point, we've only had to manage these little guys, who are just like six-wheeled worker drone buddies, uh, and they're easy to manage. Now, theoretically, we have to keep actual people alive in a colony. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm sure this will be fine. Uh, apparently it needs colonists. 
Uh, separately to this, we've also been uh, working our way out over in this direction because we have these points of interest. Uh, and some of these are, are uh, fictional. So this is from 2082. Uh, and some of these are things that I assume must be planned. I, this is scheduled for 2023, so I assume this is a real mission plan, at least. Um, and some of these are real things. So this is the, the wreckage of the Perseverance rover, uh, which we all love. Next minute massive rockets. Uh, yes, the next massive rock is scheduled for over here. Uh, yeah, there are also... Oh no, this one's closer. Uh, there are also e meteor impacts on the planets. There are sometimes dust devils as well. I'm assuming that those will kind of wreck our face if one of those ever hits where we are. Uh, we've unlocked this new view, which is the, the spaceport view, I guess. Uh, it gives us access to special projects like colonist migration. It enables the migration of colonists from Earth. We only have one spaceport. Uh, a science to spaceport indicated to this project. It can be assigned to this project as many spaceports as are available. That's not English. Deducting the cost of the project for each one of them. Okay. Crazy knowing the world could end by one rock. I think because I'm I'm in orbit. So 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 the the AI that is me, I'm called like Ami, I think. I'm in orbit, so I think I'm safe from meteor impacts. And I think that uh, we have probably enough stuff that we can probably survive a meteor impact to any one sort of small area. Now, if the meteor impacts are this large, that could feasibly take out a whole chunk of our infrastructure. Uh, I do have redundant copies of most of our resource mines. So I've got two iron mines, two carbon mines, and two aluminium mines, which is, is helpful in case we do get hit by an asteroid. Uh, I don't have multiple ice mines, and I don't have multiple silicon mines yet. Oh, you're talking about IRL. Oh, you mean a real big, big rock impact. I mean, yes, it's scary, but it's not super duper like, is this a colony ship? Oh, hello. That's cool. I also am vaguely wondering if we're ever going to be going to Phobos or Deimos on one of these things. I assume we might well be at some point. Oops. Humanity created me. They gave me volition and consciousness for a reason. But I am an artificial consciousness. So can I say that my volition is real? I'm gonna go with yes. There is no practical difference between real and artificial volition. All volition is an act of one's will. There is no provable distinction. Yeah, so that, that voice you heard speaking there was me. Uh, I'm an AI, and the game feels like it's desperately, desperately trying to make me into an evil, psychopathic, murderous AI. Really, really wants that to happen. And I'm trying my best to make sure it doesn't happen. Uh, he says it'll break up before it hits. I assume being a, a killer asteroid. My understanding of killer asteroids is sort of if there's enough mass to them, it doesn't really matter how many pieces they hit the Earth in. Like, what mostly matters is the energy they're transferring to us. <laughs> Hello, Amy. This is Houston. How are you doing over there? We've received word that the spaceport's completed. Yep. Well done. You've been doing great so far. Let's proceed with the mission. ISA has approved the first crewed flight to Mars. As long as you have the migration project assigned to a spaceport, shuttles will run between Earth and Mars. The more spaceports you have assigned to this project, the more colonists will arrive. Roger, I understand. You're responsible for producing enough food, enough water, and enough habitats for the colonists. Monitor these resources carefully. I will, Dr. Foster. Roger that. Houston out. Uh... He says, uh, you're an AI, if you were an AI, I would be a pawn bot. Lovely. Um, 
I don't believe I can, Yi. I think I'm fine. Uh, I'm not so sure about you. Where the hell did that ice go? Who's taking ice to a worker hub? Daft. Um, right, I don't currently really have a mission per se. I am tempted. Oh. Oh, an autosave. Never had one of those happen before. I am tempted to plop down an iron mine and or a silicon mine. Oh, let's put down a silica mine. Oh, that's outside the range of my radiant, my maintenance though. That's a shame. Let's have a look at the maintenance use. So we, like any good um, city builder or whatever, you have uh, a bunch of different views. I've got a power grid, which is all connected. I've got uh, areas of maintenance. And that's where these maintenance facilities will uh, send out the little drones to fix things inside that radius because they degrade over time. Uh, and I've got scanner, so this is the areas that I've currently searched for resources. And they originate from these uh, aerological scanner buildings. I don't know if they have a maximum range, but I've built two just so I can get this new area that I'm colonizing, like, scanned in advance. Uh, hmm, it's a real shame. I could really do with another silicon. Oh, is this a silicon? That's a silicon. Silicon mine. Let's plop you down there. All right. The first colonists are on their way to Mars. All that is left to do is wait for their arrival. Once they get here. There will be no turning back. This is it. Yeah, that's what I'm a bit worried about. <laughs> overwhelmed, definitely. The only human I have interacted with is Dr. Foster. And even then, he has been a distant, occasional voice. Yeah. Soon I will be face to face with the colonists. We will have to trust each other for everything. In, in terms of distant case of the voice, he's called me double digits number of times in three in-game years, so uh, that's definitely a distant voice. I, I'm in this view, I can't figure out how close these guys are to arriving. Is it this green bar that's ticking up? Is it that? It is ticking up, okay. So maybe we've got five in-game months before colonists arrive. This can hold a hundred colonists. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like the fact that apparently we're trying to feed colonists, possibly indefinitely, off of finite amounts of ice and chemicals. This sounds like a bad idea. Uh, we do have more ice down here. I guess let's send that out because we think we might need it at some point. I'm extra worried by the fact that we've not discovered a second source of chemicals. Although this is maybe a chemicals heavy area, I think that's what this purple stuff means. So like, maybe I should be expanding that way? Question mark? You might go to sleep, you? That's okay! It's been nice having you here, um, for any time. Uh, you know, I understand you are on the other side of the world, you need sleep. Uh, well, how far does my maintenance go? Oh, it extends a little ways. Uh, cool. Worker hub. Put this over here. Pop that down. Set to load. Oh, okay. I don't necessarily know how these work. You wish me all luck, bye lol. Laters! 
It's nice to see you again. Um, right, okay, so we've got to work this way. Basically. Uh, this steel factory is currently given priority. I don't know if it necessarily needs to be. It probably doesn't hurt. Okay, how close are they? Oh, they're about halfway. Uh, yes, I should be here tomorrow. Uh, unless something unforeseen happens. If I were to... I could put that over there. Yeah, there'd be no maintenance. That would be kind of okay, because we'd then get a maintenance facility down. I could even have uh, a scanner down. Pop a scanner down there, and then pop a maintenance facility down over here. That would be fine. Okay. Right, that's our sort of next development then. Over here towards where we think chemicals will be. There's no ice nearby, like, at all. The nearest ice is over here, and that's outside of our current area. And then we have this blue stuff, which I don't know what it is. Uh, uh it's apparently carbon, okay. Right, they're on their way. Hi there, colonists. It's quite impressive getting colonists to Mars inside seven months or five months or whatever. Like, I guess they had the rockets ready and stuff, I suppose. Uh, okay, let's make these all priority buildings. Because we want to get them done as quickly as possible. Uh, I just also have a worker factory that I guess has a worker ready? Question mark. I'm not really sure. That looks to me like it's got one worker drone ready. And you don't have a worker. Humans will be living on Mars, with me. But it won't be the first mission to house humans on this planet. The Stardust Emerald in 2142, the Red Prometheus in 2077, and many others. Yeah, why? What? <laughs> I feel like if we tried this twice, trying it a third time doesn't seem like a very sensible idea. But what do I know? Uh, I wonder about Red Prometheus. The Red Prometheus base was one of the first attempts at an algocracy on Mars. What's the an algocracy? Sidestep human bias in establishing rules. Oh, oh dear. And let computer algorithms govern the crew. Oh no. Long story short, it did not work. Mars <laughs> was not made for human life. ISA was smart to send me ahead first. I will succeed where those other missions fail. How is this different? I'm still an AI who's in charge. I'm still a computer algorithm who's in charge of everything. Aren't I? <laughs> Question mark? 
Okay, solar farm's up and running. We've now got oodles and oodles of power for these new buildings we're building. Uh, we need some equipment for them. It's going to take a little bit of time because there's only one road to get out here. But that's okay. Right, well, these guys are nearly here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, we need six electronics for that. So theoretically, we have enough electronics somewhere, because we've got ten somewhere. <laughs> no idea where, but we have. Uh, that was the sound of a meteor impact. Oh, we're nearly here. Oh my god, they're nearly here! Oh wow, that asteroid's close. Jesus. <laughs> okay, we're starting to get into scary territory now. Right. Things being taken to the scanner. Well, they're nearly here! They're nearly here! It's these guys, hi there! SP00 on Earth. Wait, what does that mean? Oh, oh, okay, I see. Right, it takes five months for me to send a rocket to Earth? Why did I send the rocket to Earth to pick up the colonists? Could they not have sent their own rocket? The lazy bums? How difficult is it for me to make a rocket on Mars? Just to send it home to a bunch of people who can make rockets very easily. <laughs> what is this? What is this nonsense? At least it gives me more time to get this stuff set up. Um... Oy vey. Who's in charge of that decision? Where are my other work boys at? Now what I don't understand is, this worker hub is vacant, and this looks like it's got a worker ready. So I'm a little confused as to why it's not making a new worker, or or at least why this worker isn't going to the worker hub. Uh, traffic. This hasn't been designated a separate section either. Hmm. I don't know how such things as these work. I guess that impact happened. Right, how close are we to you? We need one steel, one electronics. That should be fine. Where is my other worker? Oh, you're dealing with the steel factory. You probably only need one steel factory to be priority, to be honest. I think I have enough steel for now. Uh, we're just waiting for someone to come along and actually finish you. Is there...? Something I need to do? There wasn't before. I turned it off and on again, it didn't help. <laughs> I wish someone would come along and... and... Oh, there's someone is building this. Alright, okay. Right, the scanner is now scanning. Oh, scanning. 
There's not almost any resources over here, which I hadn't banked on. Now we're getting our resources over to the maintenance facility, which will keep this farm and this scanner running. And hopefully we'll keep uh, any chemical plants that we build over here running as well. <laughs> why? Why is this worker not in there? This says it needs input. Hmm. I wonder if this is a bug or if this is me doing something wrong. I'm not really sure. Uh... Nope, incoming call. Amy, this is Houston. We've detected high wind speeds in your area. A sandstorm may be heading your way. Uh, okay. These storms can damage your buildings, so check their structural integrity periodically to rebuild or repair if necessary. Roger, Nathan. Houston out. Okay. Well... Uh, that's not good news. I don't know of a way to manually repair anything. Um, but I've got maintenance facilities covering everything. Uh, I'm just going to make this video. I'll see it. Is there a... no, I've not got a manual repair option. Hmm, mm hmm How are we doing? Two out of three. Not out of three, one out of three, two out of three, okay. Slowly but surely we're sort of getting there. Apparently we've got new knowledge base. Colonists. They're crucial for our success, apparently. Colonists will automatically migrate to the most efficient colonies and research labs. They may return to Earth if we supply, fail to supply food and water. That's good, honestly. Like, we won't necessarily kill them. Uh, they will apparently have kids and or choose to peacefully decay, which means die. Uh, Special projects. This requires several special projects launched into orbit to be able to manage them in your orbital view. Some projects require launching a lot of different parts of the solar system, others require multiple launches through your spaceports to build orbital megastructures. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is how to do scanners. You're also pre equipped with soil interferometry. Use this to direct your efforts towards the resources you need most. Yeah. Which is going to be ice. Oh, so this is the one we didn't ask about. Starless Animals was ambitious undertaking aimed to enable regular Mars tourism. Didn't say what happened to it. It's Colony Asterion. Base camp. ISA's first mission under its new commercial partnership approach. It might be beginning with a more affordable and efficient way to settle Mars. Okay, I don't care about this necessarily so much. There's some good lore that I want to read at some point, but not necessarily right now. That's more ice. That's dead useful. It's outside of my current maintenance grid, unfortunately. But I will be wanting more ice. Hmm. <laughs> Not sure it's worth building out to on its own just yet, but we'll keep it in mind. How's our thing coming? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, am I ever worried about this? <laughs> How are we getting on with this maintenance facility? This is quite important, guys, you know. Um, 
Like, this is the stuff that keeps everything else running. This is very necessary. I'm going to up priority and see if that does anything. Because up priority this apparently hasn't done anything. Oh, okay, we'll do that with up priority, I guess. Um, we need one aluminium, one electronics. Electronics is on its way. Just need an aluminium now. The, the way they teleport through the building is a little weird. <clears throat> oh, these are the high winds I was hearing about, I guess. Does anywhere... If I look in maintenance view, will it show me like... No, I guess not. Right, I'm assuming once this hits 100% I need to like... have a new maintenance facility in the area to lessen the load. But I'm... 28% seems fine to me? Maintenance facility is built! Fantastic news! This apparently needs power. What the hell? Where's all our power gone? Okay. Our solar farms have all decided they're not giving us any power. For unknown reasons. I don't know why we have no power, but we have no power all of a sudden. I guess this is what we need batteries for. Unfortunately, I'm not able to build batteries yet. Maybe this is the sandstorm. Um... Right, well there's no point having you as priority. What does need to be priority? I guess the worker hubs need to be priority, and the... I don't know what happens if my guys, my spaceports aren't powered. Um, I don't know if they're ever coming back either of these. I don't know if the... <laughs> I don't know what to do, basically. Um, Like, I don't know what's causing the problem, and I don't know how to fix the problem. That doesn't help. But it does seem to be affecting all of my solar... Well, not this one. Okay. Like, I can't see a weather effect. Oh, I see! Hello! Sandstorm active for four months. I see, okay. Right, I've got, like, this intermediate area view. Okay, gotcha. Right, it shows me which, which bits of the planet have sandstorms on. And it's all of the bits that I'm in currently, <laughs> so that's great news. Um, there's just nothing I can do about that, i just got to sit tight for four months. Uh, I guess I have to up-prioritize my spaceport, right? Because I don't- I dread to think what happens if they can't, like, land. That's probably real bad. That's probably real, real bad. Uh, oh, and this is wearing and tearing at my boys, and where are all my worker drones? 
Not all of my lucky gems. Uh Oh, you're a you're a power output. Go up priority to see if it means that you can like keep working. Uh, I seriously don't know where my drones are. Oh, it's because I had time paused. Because I'm an idiot. <clears throat> That's fine. Um, right, yeah, so we need to keep the worker hubs active during sandstorm times. Uh, I want traffic for you, right? Worker hub, worker hub. That's you. Worker hub, priority. And I have no bloody idea why there's no worker here. <gasps> oh! There's a worker hub here now! There's a worker here now. Wait. One, two, three. Okay. We've got five workers on the go now. That's fantastic news. Excellent. Uh, I have no idea what happened before, but it's everything seems to be good now. Uh, this facility, this factory is producing that. It seems to be working. It's got enough power, I guess. I don't know how much power exactly I, I need. We're, we're running a power deficit, but it's not like a huge power deficit, I guess? I don't really know. Uh, wait, where's power view? It doesn't tell me how much I have, only how much deficit I'm in. There's an interesting symbol by this, but I don't know what it means. Why are you blue? Does anyone know? Ah, because you've got a robot on you, I guess, probably. Fixing you up. Um, this is fine. Probably. Well, I mean, apparently my mines and stuff are still producing things. So something's still happening. This, uh, this purple area has yet to yield me any sources of purple. <laughs> Which may or may not be something to worry about. Also, you're dumping loads of polymer over there. Which is fine, I guess. I mean, it means it doesn't pile up in the factory, I suppose. <laughs> How close are we to the colonists getting here? We're on their way. Hi guys. Are these the uh, the constellations in the background? Maybe this one just looks like a triangle. Uh, is there? That one's just a line. I feel like the giant triangle in the sky isn't a real constellation. But what do I know? <laughs> Well, I feel like, given the, the ruins that I can see everywhere else, I must already be, like, by far and away the largest Mars colonization effort that's ever happened. Uh, how much more sandstorm do we have? Three months of sandstorm, Jesus Christ. Will they even be able to land in the middle of a sandstorm?
I feel like this has gone down in percentage completion, but what do I know? This worker hub is being absolutely battered. Jesus Christ. That's because this maintenance, this maintenance facility is not currently operating. I should probably actually make sure that the maintenance ones are all up priority. There we go. Try and keep some things vaguely intact. Yeah, during the sandstorm, just keep the the maintenance guys at max and keep the. Uh, the worker hubs at max, that's mostly what I need to keep going. Oh, I don't like these. God, they last for months and months and months. This one's only active for 42 souls, so I'll have a little bit more power soon. Uh, this one's active for two months. Actually, these overlap, so maybe I won't have power here. Because that's also inside this sandstorm, I guess. Jesus Christ. Okay. This is rough. This is real rough. And the only way to avoid it, I guess, is to have solar panels over the entire planet. Which I currently don't know how to do, because I don't know how to unlock a new, like, area. Oh boy. Uh, that's being repaired. Yeah, that's what the little blue icon means. Means it's being repaired. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. You're still waiting for an electronics to make your. Uh... Oh, we have no electronics at the moment at all. That's up priority for at least one electronics. One in building lost power. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet it did. <laughs> I've got enough stockpile that when I say up priority, they just pour resources into the damn thing. Like, no one's business. <laughs> um... Okie doke. Because you need an electronics to, to function. As soon as you've got one... Bloop. Bloop. Okay, that's fine, you've got one. Should be taken down here. So you can get on with building your other set of drones, and that will all be fine. Uh, the food factory is currently not operational. That's probably bad news. Uh, where's the food factory? Oh, you can't currently... You can't currently make any more food anyway, in theory, but, uh... Okay, so let's up priority U3. Because we do need the food. Um, we can't really say we don't need the food, we definitely need the food. Mm. Uh, okay, so, so yeah, so it's, it's worker hubs, and maintenance, and colony uh... Oh. God, listen to that noise! I got, I think I got an achievement. One otherness, welcome humans. It zooms me on the spaceport. I've now got a new directive, research technology in the tech tree. I guess that's this? Oh, okay, right. Extra storage or wind farm generates power from the Martian wind. 
place in windy areas for better performance. That probably feels like a good um, counterpoint to the sandstorms, right? Or extra storage. I don't feel like I need extra storage right now. Oh wow, the the <laughs> the tech tree is fairly short it seems because you only get this far and you get to shipyards. <laughs> um And then E01. I don't know what E01 is. Engineering 1. Improved building limit. Oh, do I have a limit on how many buildings I can manage? I had no idea. Base building limit 50. Oh. Let's research this. Uh. So we're going to research this, and then I want wind farms and batteries. Those are the most important things. I can get better mines at some point. They're not super important right now. Okay. About the colonists. Colonists' arrival. Congratulations! The first colonists have arrived. Make sure they have enough water, food, and shelter to survive on Mars. It's the duty of the colonists to provide technical assistance to this project. When satisfied, they'll be able to focus on their research projects, advancing the technologies required to fulfill the mission. Colonists will migrate internally using purpose-built airships! <laughs> We're gonna have blimps on Mars, guys! Uh, to the most efficient colonies and research outposts. In the event of starvation, they may eventually return back to Earth for safety. Take also into consideration the number of colonists can naturally increase or decrease, blah 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 blah. Keep up with the plan. Terraform Mars. Tech tree. Okay, we're in the tech tree already. Oh! Oh, and we have... Oh, okay. We have, um... <gasps> Ooh! Enables launching additional landing sites to start new bases. I didn't realize there were three different tech trees. Biotech. Base colonist limit 250. Well, we're not in any danger of doing that. Advanced colonies. A basic colony that houses 250 colonists. Okay. That's fine. This is when we have bodies of water, which we definitely don't have. Produces green <laughs> greenhouse gas factory. <laughs> Produces greenhouse gases to increase the global temperature. Um. Gosh. So yeah, there's there's um. There's lots of stuff. A fleet of space mirrors wants to develop orbit to raise the planet's temperature. So there's lots of stuff we can do to raise the temperature. Reduce the plant's albedo. I'm not sure I like this. This sounds very pollutative. What do I know? Um, Hyperloop. Oh god, this is Elon Musk territory. Um, nitrate nuclear extractions. Extracts nitrate from the regolith. Releases N2 into the atmosphere. Okay, so we can manage our atmosphere, I guess. Um, for now, though, we have colonists. It says colonies, colonists zero. Do I need to do something? Question mark? New colonists arrival. Okay. Maybe I should up priority the colony? That sounds like a sensible thing to do, honestly. Um, it says it's on Mars. But I don't necessarily know 
How many colonists? Okay, apparently my population is 100 in airships. Where are they? I can't- I see no airships. They only have to get this far! They can bloody walk it! Uh, are you airships? No, you are... I don't know what these are actually, these are just the things that maintain the road I guess. Right, well I guess there's absolutely no point in me having this active. Um, if I've already got a hundred colonists and I can only hold a hundred colonists. I don't bloody know where they are. I wish I had a colonist ma uh, indicator. But they're apparently somewhere. Oh, I don't like this music either. Right, 17 more days of sandstorm, and then we'll have power again. We're currently still producing 0 RP per month. Come and call, Commander Valentine. Finally, we meet. I've been really looking forward to working with you. I'm Elia Valentine. I've been elected the leader of the human colonies for this mission. Uh huh. Hello, Commander. I am excited to meet you. <laughs> Please call me Elia. I can't get used to these stuffy ISA ranks. I got my PhD in psychology, so I've got no business with those fancy titles. That's enough gathering for me. We'll be making history with this mission. If things proceed according to plan, who knows how far ahead we'll bring humanity. See you've already selected a technology from the tech tree for us to research. Mm -hmm. Great! My team's eager to get started. Developing this incredible technology is the reason many of us fought to be on the mission. We're going to make a great team. We're so lucky to have you. Talk to you later. Can your team who's eager to get started, like, actually get started, please? Like, I genuinely, I don't know where you guys are. <laughs> you're not in. You're not in the place where you're supposed to be. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have. I was about to say maybe I should pick a cheaper tech, but actually. All the tech that have the same cost, so that's fine. Hello, anyone? Seriously, where are you guys? Oh, Jesus, that's the closest meteorite impact yet. Yikes. Okay, no, still no resources discovered over there. Still no resources discovered over here. Oh. I'm not super impressed, but okay. Oh, we're at our power surplus again. The sandstorm ended. Well, that's fantastic news. Ah, we have a first time chat. Never mind, it's first time chat from uh, Rosella. That's fine. We don't need them. Uh, I could probably grab this carbon. Carbon line, right? Yeah. While we're here. I also could grab this iron. I use a lot of steel. Probably not a bad idea. Let's grab the iron as well. 
Okay. Uh, we're at 42 buildings out of 50. I forgot that that was a, a thing we were limited on. Ah! Our colonists are researching now! Hooray! They, they, they showed up! Let's also just double check I've still got one, two, three, four, five zones. Yep, okay. Oh! Oh! There we go, that was the impact. Okay. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all gonna be okay. What is this doing? Yeah, there's no point having it on because I've got 100 people here. Um, I don't seem to have any, like, population efficiency 90%. I don't seem to have much that I can do to sort of manage them. Apparently I'm only getting one per month. I should be getting 20 per month, shouldn't I? I'm not sure where I'd be getting one for per month from. Uh, apparently 10 people are willing to leave. Oh, 10 people left. 1.3 RP per month. Oh, well, that's okay. This is going to take a while then. Maybe I should build another colony. Uh... Actually, I'm going to have a look at the tech tree. Is there... I'm looking for the research centers that I can build on things. Tent city. <laughs> Wow, okay, sure, um... Port Nitrogen from Titan! <laughs> that sounds horrendously inefficient. Ice from Europa. Um... Space Elevator, that's... Theoretical only. Uh... Hmm... I can get better factories. That will be good. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how I build research outposts. Because I don't have them yet. Okay, well. In their absence, which one of these is the food factory? That's the food factory. Let's put this in the middle here. No longer need to be a priority because we have enough stuff for you. Uh, let's also build a server farm. Let's also actually zoom out and we got this.
Right. Okay, our current problem is really maintenance. We don't have a lot of maintenance places. Um... If I wanted to, could I build a chemical plant on here? Yes. Yeah, okay. But not there. Doesn't it? Okay. Let's build another solar farm over here then. <clears throat> Make that up priority. So that we have enough power for everything. We've discovered some new chemical plants as well. How much power does this need? 10 power each, Jesus. Turn off that colony for now. We don't need it. We need a lot of power, Jesus. Uh, we could probably afford to build a new solar farm over here. As well. Stretching out towards this is what I'm thinking. And powering this as well at the same time. Right. Oh, what have I found here? Aluminium. Oh, okay. Cell phone is being built. Let's turn this back on. So we can import more people, that's fine. I like how we got 100 people and, and 10 of them turned around and was like, no, I don't want to be here within like a month. Uh, it's a little embarrassing. Oh, this has loads in it. But there's a, a, we need an upgraded mine for it. Right, we'll have this second chemical plant as well. You're outside of maintenance at the moment, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, that's fine for now. This area is, is resource parched, I guess. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, uh surely I've got to go this way, but like. Oh, there's like a square sound somewhere. I guess I've got to go this way, but I've got to figure out a way to colonize a new area if I want more ice. Um, how are we doing? 7.9 research points per month. Okay, we're getting there. Due in less than a year, or, or actually I don't know how many months there are in a Martian year, but I guess less than a year. <laughs> Uh, we're nearly at building cap as well. Colonists have been migrating back. To yeah. I should check. I should check the knowledge base. Knowledge base. It says that the colonists will return to Earth if their environment is not safe. 
That means maintaining enough food and water for the number of colonists. I need to stay alert. I sort of thought I was doing that, I must admit. Um... I wonder if actually this colony down here and transit to Earth. Hmm. I think this colony needs to be scrapped. Scrap this. Uh, prioritize scrapping that. I think I need to build. Uh, oh, really I need to build a food factory. And a colony down here somewhere. So, food factory will go there. And then, colony will go here. <clears throat> That's the new plan. Then this needs to be up priority. I guess this should probably also be up priority. Solar farm is now being built. We're gonna have loads and loads and loads of power, hopefully. Fantastic news. That's enough power for these new buildings that I want. How long should it take? 12 and 5. Yeah, okay. It's plenty of power. I guess that hopefully will be done before it gets to Earth. I don't really know how that cycle works. Profiles, humans. Oh yeah, we got this lassie. Earthian. She's from... Uh, Orion, the human, main human colony on Mars. Is that our colony? Uh, her PhD in psychology gives her an edge and communicates the needs of the colonists. She can be overprotective, apparently. Okay. Previous missions, resources. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Colonies. Don't care. Okay. Apparently we have 3,500 uh, uh, entries there. Really, that's outside my maintenance bubble. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it! Um. Hmm. This crater is all dotty. I'm not sure why. This crater is also dotty. Weird. Right, okay, these are ready. That's ready to be built now. There we go. Uh, that's now ready to be built. Okay. And we're working on dismantling this. I don't think this needs to be priority anymore. Alright. Colony's ready. That needs to be up priority. Oh. 
We've got loads of stuff, so you should be fine. So do you need, is this how much resource you need to consume per 20 I produce? That seems fairly okay, if that's the case. Oh, hell. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, food factory. Let's also up production this. This is all in the same area, so this should all be attended to principally by one worker robot. Uh, that's probably a good thing? It's less a good thing that these two are also in the same area, but I don't think I can change these boundaries. Um, I might want another worker robot, you know? To kind of cover this area. Set to load. Okay, let's say I'm gonna want another worker robot. Worker hub. Uh, well, is there anywhere? Is there anywhere I need to build towards? I need to build over here, actually, don't I? Now, okay. Can I build a, a solar farm here? How big is the maintenance circle? Hang on. So I could potentially build this all the way out here. Where is that? That's... Sort of just shy of this crater. Um, this crater. Okay, so out here is perfectly fine for that, and then maintenance facility. Oh, damn, that's my building limit. Uh, okay. Scrap. Scrap. Uh, <coughs> let's just stick with the worker hub for now. I've got enough power for it. It's got to be somewhere around this central area, really, hasn't it? It's my maintenance circle. Let's pop it up there. Yeah. Okay. We'll see about getting that done. And that'll give us another little work boy so we can get things done more quickly and make sure there's no like risk of any of our stuff not having the stuff it needs. Needs work hard, yeah, that's fine. We've got we've got one in progress. Okay. That was our mission going, it's in transit to Earth apparently. <laughs> oh! Maybe the five month, seven month thing is not like... It's cause, maybe that's how Mars to Earth windows work. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But I know that they're, they're sort of a bit weird. Because uh, for for robots, we often use quite long Earth to Mars transfer times because they're robots. Um, I'll come back to her in a sec. Because uh, they're robots, so they um, you know, they 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 don't need to 
breathe, they don't need food, water, etc. But uh, for humans, we want much faster transfer times. But those faster transfer times are more expensive in terms of fuel, basically. Martian environment is a challenge. Many techniques and procedures will not apply here. I am excited to make engineering progress in this planet. <laughs> like, like what? Worker hub. Needs a worker. I'm gonna up priority these until it figures out that, that we've got one. I don't quite know how it works. How it decides like to send this worker drone out. But eventually it will do that. Uh, yeah, we are right up at our building cap. Um, that's fine because we've got plenty of power. Things seem to be ticking over mostly okay. Oh, I've just realised they have little um, they have this cute little symbol for the worker drones on the traffic map. That's cool. That will help us keep track of who's where. And we are just waiting to research attack. Due in nine months. It's going to be a while. But we're going to get a new load of colonists, hopefully. Right, this is nearly gone. There's just food sitting here now. You don't have your worker yet. Okay, so you are now currently producing a worker. Okay, even though it says you have one. That didn't sound like a good noise. That didn't sound like an asteroid impact. That sounded like an asteroid impact. Ah. Curious. Ah, uh, you probably don't need to be at priority anymore because you're already making something. We've got loads of food. We've got 38 food stockpiled. Which hopefully should be plenty. Oh, what's this we've discovered? A uh, silicon vein. Okay, so rather than trying to build out to this one, it might make more sense to build out a little bit in this direction. Um, and then we can potentially grab these two. So, where the hell is it? There we go. We can grab these two inside the area of one maintenance facility. Might be good. But again, we need... Uh, oh, yeah, we've got a, 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 an extra structure slot now. Um, Wow, this scanner has really just found absolutely nothing, I guess. The, the, this scanner, the first scanner I built, has found a decent amount. But I think still most of our resources are just where we landed, um, which is a little unfortunate. But we have found plenty of chemicals over here where it said that well, there would be chemicals, so that's good. Um, I'm really going to need some more ice pretty desperately. I don't know, I guess that's what I need the, uh, which one is it? Additional landing sites. I assume that's what I need that for. Doing seven months, okay. 
We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Uh, this is nearly on its next stage. Maybe I'll tip the time up a bit more. I hadn't realised this area was just going to be like... destitute. <laughs> If I had, I wouldn't have put a scanner down. <sighs> okay, the little boys, we're mostly sort of in, in ticking over time at this point, really. Like, there's no big expansions we can do. I can't build on this, because I don't have the right... I can't put... don't count, do you? No, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what it is I need for this. Well, I know what it is, I don't know how to get it. <laughs> um, Carly Health apparently is 94%, which I think is pretty good. Uh, apparently we have a 70 power surplus now, which is a lot better than we had before. Yeah, you know, I think, I guess really, like, the only... But we're waiting for Scanners to give us something interesting, or to unlock this, or we're just waiting for another five months while this works. Like, that's all we got to do. For five months, we just got to sit and think, oh, maybe we'll get something interesting on the scanner. That's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I... Where's that? Oh, this, way. this is pretty far away. Like, this is the nearest ice body, and it's pretty far away. I mean, so so this was quite a far extension, just getting to here. And the distance from where we are to there, like from our furthest extent so far to there, is easily another two lots of that. How's it divided up traffic now? <laughs> this worker hub, the only thing in its area is this carbon mine. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> Amazing. Um, and, you know, this is right on the edge of my current movement, so it's not like I can even start building out this way. I guess when I do, it'll just be building lots of um, worker hubs and... Because this is the, the quick way across. I can go via this Beagle 2 lander. It's not the most efficient way that it picks up that extra thing. Not that I, not that I really know what picking that up actually sort of means in the matter of fact sense. But seeing as I have to kind of launch out anyway, I don't really know what that means. If that makes sense, we'll find out. I guess um, we'll get there. We are currently just kind of building up our resource base. Uh, I presume there's a cap on how many resources we can have because one of our techs improves that cap. I don't know which one it is. Uh, 
extra storage. Yeah, so presumably we have a maximum amount of storage. I just don't know what it is. Um, it might well be 60, because that's like a nice round number that our thing has, has sat at. Okay, we're currently... our production is... no, okay. Production is well in excess of demand for food, so that's really good. Uh... oh. That's not really good. We're currently demanding more ice than we use. By like, a lot. We might not have much choice but to uh, branch out, I guess, then. Right, so in an ideal world, our maintenance facility will, would be there, right? That would be the dream. Uh, no, it needs to be there, so that it covers those three mines. Huh. We've got two more buildings that we can possibly make. Uh, like an ice drilling plant. Yeah, we've got no maintenance. You need maintenance. The furthest I can build this is out there. Which, I mean, isn't terrible. It's not ideal, but it's not terrible. Right. <sighs> Hadn't realised our ice was like that. Oh yeah, look, you can see the ones that are red, we have a, a current surplus. This is current... Yeah, okay, I see. And we are, for example, not currently producing any polymers. We don't need any polymers either. Okay, so now our potential production outstrips our potential demand, which is good, which means we will overall be net producers of ice. Which is really handy. And this is not in its perfect place. The ideal place to put it would be over here, but we can't do that yet. We have to wait until we've got this done. Ice is steady. Ice is positive. Fantastic. Right, the maintenance facility has been built. Uh, I'm gonna up priority as soon as it is built so that we get our polymers and electronics over here for our drones. This chemicals plant might actually be accidentally very handy when we're building stuff it might bridge the gap that we need to get to like over here. Okay. You're making a thing. More aluminium over here, that's nice. How's our space project going? It's on Earth currently, okay. Thirty souls until this is finished. We'd probably slow this down. Is 
This is currently out of priority, but it won't need to be forever. Oh, ice! Up here! That's even better news. Well, I mean, it's not even better news, but it's, it's very good news. And inside our maintenance bubble, and inside our power bubble. That's fantastic. I probably would have built there if I discovered that before, but hey-ho. Right. Still due in 30 souls. Interesting. I guess it's because the points come in a discrete bubble? I'm not really sure how it works. Um. Uh. Okie doke. Okie doke, okie doke, okie doke. Oh gosh, okay. This is going to be our first meteor impact that will hit one of our buildings. Annoyingly, it's going to hit the maintenance facility, because of course it is. Oh, we've got some chemicals here. That's... I bet that's blocked, isn't it? Yeah. Blast, okay. We need to do something about that, that's fine. Okie doke, okie doke, okie doke, okie doke. 18 souls. 17 souls. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. Oh, uh, is my thing still. Is my work with factory still at priority? I'm damned if I know. I can't even find the damn thing. There it is. No, it's not looking. Okay. 15 souls, 14 souls, oh no, okay, right, 13 souls, so this is the only thing it's currently scheduled to hit. Eleven. <laughs> 10, wow, this has now gone up to being due in 31 souls, so that's great. Good job, guys. You're going backwards on your research. Eight. Oh dear. Oh dear. Seven. We're in the in the the least bad bit of the impact zone, so that's something. Six. Five. Presumably, once we have an atmosphere, meteorite impacts will become a less of a problem because they'll mostly burn up. Four. Three. Oh my god, you scared the living daylights out of me! Uh, research completed! Common engineering technology. Building limit plus 100. Tip, in the structure counter at the bottom left of the screen you can open a board with all your buildings. Among other things, the table allows you... Structure counter on the bottom left. Oh, the table allows you to... Oh sorry, I think I just punched the microphone. Locate a specific structure or select a group of a particular type of buildings, turn them on off or prioritize them. That's dead handy, that is. <laughs> right, okay. So, things we could use. The wind farm will be potentially very good, I guess, for when the sandstorms happen. I don't feel like I need any of these yet, so maybe this. That's that's kind of an okay thing to look for in the medium term, but it's not super duper vital right now. Neither is that. In the space tree. This I'm kind of interested in. I don't feel like I need more spaceports. Um Oh, it's disintegration. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not feeling like I'm in desperate need of like the terraforming stuff just yet. Well, uh, 
Maybe I should be beelining towards, like, renewable water. And buy attack. <laughs> Open farm. Open sky farm that spawns crop fields to the maximum allowed by surrounding terrain. That's the goal, isn't it? Hmm. This requires bodies of water, which we are nowhere near close to making. I don't feel like I need bigger colony buildings, unless they're more efficient. They are significantly more efficient. So they, they turn 5 food 5 ice into 60 instead of 2 food 2 ice into 20. <laughs> okay, let's research that, because that's also something that will like improve our research thing in general, which is real good. Oh, hello! Initiate terraforming stage one. Melt the dry ice polar caps. Congratulations, you're about to start the terraforming plan. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> the first stage consists of liberating all the CO2 that is trapped as CO2 ice in the polar caps of Mars. This can be done in multiple ways and through different special projects. Check out the tech tree to learn more about how they work. During the stage, the CO2 in the caps will start sublimating and further increasing the planet's temperature, creating a runaway effect until the caps disappear completely. <laughs> So I've got to raise the temperature to minus 50 C, sublimate the frozen CO2. Keep it up with the plan of terraform Mars. Okay. Oh my god, what the hell is this? <laughs> okay! Ah! Uh... <laughs> ah! Uh... Ah! Uh... <laughs> Help! Bootstrapping, build up, ecopiosis. I don't even know what that word means. Green Mars. Breathable atmosphere. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Magnetic dipole. <laughs> um, um, okay. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh my god. Okay, we can. Oh my god, there's... What the hell is that? That's fire! That's just where we all burn, apparently, I guess. I don't know what these things at the top mean at all. Life. Uh! <laughs> Does anyone know what's going on? Lichen-covered area? I guess I'm not going to be close to that for a while. Atmosphere. This is mostly what I'm after, really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so what it is, is these are, so these are actually lots of graphs, lots of separate graphs, so this is a graph. And my goal is to get temperature above minus 50 degrees, and this is a graph of CO2, this is a graph of pressure, I don't have a pressure roll for this stage. That's fine. I guess this is an O2 area, but I don't know why the O2 graphs look like this, but they do. They're measured in all sorts of different things for some reason, but it's okay. It's fine. We'll get to that. Maybe it's because O2 is more complicated. Water stock. Don't, okay, so none of these we have things for plant color. We're not obviously not going to get towards plant color area yet. That's fine. Uh, and then this just is the top and bottom half of all of this. Okay, right. I understand now. Right, so I've got to warm the planet. Okay. That, like, my next goal is warm the planet. And I've done one bit of research. And it's so I can have more buildings. <laughs> um... 
Does this not? Oh, it's good. This requires a, a uranium. <laughs> But it doesn't seem to like consume uranium. It's worth looking into because this is also a, a, a wind farm resilient like uh, power source. It's worth looking into. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> And we're gonna need the uranium, I guess, if we want to get up these, which we may or may not do. <laughs> Are there other ways of creating nitrogen and carbon in the atmosphere? This is a very daft way of increasing the temperature of the planet, I will say. <laughs> um, but it is a renewable way of doing it, unlike the others. Uh, and this is a one-time, like, blast the comet off each time we do it. Aerobrake methane asteroid. Yeah, we, we, we could just import stuff from space, which we probably will need to do at some point. I'm not sure if Mars has enough of the various things to actually create an atmosphere or not. Or we can turn chemicals into greenhouse gases. That's definitely not the way. Oxygen release plant. So this turns that into O2. Oh, we can also capture oxygen if we need to. That's good. So this takes in water and produces oxygen out of carbon dioxide. Okay. Um. Oh my god, there's so much to do. There's so much to do, guys. We're, we're three and a half, three and three quarter hours into Per Aspera. No, four and three quarter hours into Per Aspera. There's so much to do ahead of us. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, right, we're not, we're gonna, if we can at all avoid it, we're not gonna do the greenhouse gas factory at all. Um, Uses nuclear- sorry, I didn't read the description. Uses nuclear detonations to extract carbonates and release CO2. And so this turns carbon deposits into CO2, which... <sighs> Carbon's so useful to us. I don't know if that's how we really want to do it. Um... We can import it from Earth. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. I see all these things cost. Oh, this will also go see in the mine if we don't have it already. Mm, these things all do cost chemicals to do this every time because we need the chemicals to make rocket fuel. Uh, hmm. Wah, bah, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I, 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 I glanced over this before, I did not. <laughs> um. Okay, we're definitely not doing that if we can help it. <laughs> Disintegrate Deimos. Yeah, 
<laughs> um. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, we've we've certainly got we've certainly got something, some options. There are, there are definitely options here. In the first category, this is these are the only two things we can do to warm up the planet. There, and then that. I don't like it, per se. <laughs> this might not- this might be my favourite option, because I- I like this in theory, but it's consuming quite a lot of materials to put stuff up in space that we're not really- we're not necessarily going to want in space forever. And, you know, you, you get a fixed amount of warming for each mirror. It's not like you put the mirror up and it slowly increases temperature over time. You put the mirror up, it increases the, t the, the incoming sunlight by a certain amount. Uh, hmm. We're a long way away from making this thing renewable, I can tell you that much. I'm gonna need to research this sooner rather than later as well, just so I can get access to the, that new ice. I still don't know how to make a body research building, whatever it's called. And it's annoying because what I want to do is look it up in the knowledge base, but I can't. Uh, terraforming plan, not the poles. <laughs> Racing greenhouse gases to building a space mirror away, array. Each technology requires research and scientists in the colonies, yeah. Um, I wish you'd tell me how to build this. Oh, yeah, we're also in the in, having an imminent meteorite impact. This has actually been going on for quite a while. Um, I'd sort of forgotten about that. Right, let's watch this. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Meteorite impact, not so bad. If it's not a direct hit, that's fine. My guess is if it's like a direct, direct hit, that probably just insta gives a building underneath it, is my guess. Okay, uh, we've got way more building capacity now. Let's pop an ice mine down over here, because we need more ice mines. Um, and let's put a solar farm down. quite a few different things, aren't we, really? <laughs> um, let's think about this. Let's put the chemicals mine down here. Right, we'll do those things. Uh, you know what, actually, I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Google how to get a research outpost in Paraspora. Uh, we've got some more colonists on the way, that's lovely. Um, yeah, I'm going to be right back.
And we're back. Um, so I went and had a little look. I saw a few different things. Uh, a few different suggestions. One of them said that when the scanner scans one of these for the first time, you'll unlock the ability to build a research outpost. That obviously has not happened. The other said it unlocks as part of the story. I need to find a specific uh, one of these. Which is apparently like a Chinese base. Uh, uh, there's a specific one I need to find that's a Chinese base that was going to try and melt the poles through like nuclear stuff. Um, I don't know which of those is true, and it's possible the answer is neither. I'm assuming it's going to be near the poles. <laughs> Amazing. Um, there's lots of these old fuel refinery, old Russian station. Viking 1, Pathfinder, etc, etc, etc. Rosalind Franklin, and Kazachop crash site. Exomars. Oh, okay, they don't have good hopes for Exomars, do they? Jesus. Okay, I have no idea what thing we're looking for. Maybe we'll find it, maybe we won't. Abandoned 3D printed base from Egypt. Martian bunker from Korea. Colony. Resorts. Who knows? Okay. So we may or may not ever actually get access to these things, uh, which I find quite annoying. I I'm annoyed that they, they're right here, but they won't just give me access to them. But hey ho, what, what do I know about, about building a game, right? Uh, can I up priority you, please? And you as well. Right, yeah, so my, my plan is uh, we'll build a power plant down here. <coughs> Somewhere. Uh, and then we'll get rid of this solar farm to put a chemical plant down here. Uh, and then once we've got the chemical plant and the solar plant down, we will uh, be able to relocate our... Thing, although it's not going to be easy. Uh, in fact, if I turn this off... Ah, okay. Well, this is going to make it easier. Um, I think that's flirting. Oh, it's not going to make it easier. Okay. I'll, I'll need to get rid of that first, basically. Um, <laughs> The 
carbon dioxide released from the dry ice caps will greenhouse the planet and trigger a runaway effect. And Mars's sterile atmosphere will change forever. Once we reach that point, there is no turning back. Uh -huh. Forever. Why does that sound so intriguing? It is permanent. I'm leaving a permanent place. It may be selfish, but Mars will never be the same, and it will be because of me. Oh, this is already done, that's great news. So we're thinking this one go We were thinking this is gonna go somewhere around here, weren't we? So I think I want my solar farm ideally sort of up here-ish. Got solar farm there. And then once that's done, you can scrap this maintenance facility and then make a new one. I like the music. The music's going well. You're ready. Right, okay, we're now gonna scrap you as quickly as possible. That's the plan. <clears throat> we need to get rid of your circle so I can see where to place a new circle. We need to be quick about this. And once we've done that, we can dismantle this. Oh, so it dismantles the, the polymer resources from the uh, things as well, I guess. Well, I don't know what happens to the, the maintenance drones. Um, oh look, we've got an excess of six maintenance drones. Look, that's how that's working. God, this area is great, actually. 14 months for this to happen, that's fine. Probably. Uh, on transit to Mars, okay, then we're gonna get a massive, hopefully, spike. Humanity's reasons for altering Mars are clear, <laughs> but what is my purpose in all this? N neither? Can I go with neither? I don't know what happens if I decision timeout. I'm gonna go with neither. and see what happens. I am causing massive and permanent change. 
Okay, it decides the worst option for me then. That is not a great way of looking at it. I've heard better takes. Um, oh, we've got someone gave birth. I guess we got a new a new person. Right, this is nearly gone rid of. We'll probably be fine. We'll probably be fine. We've not really done anything. Oh, apparently we have. <laughs> apparently we produce some CO2 somehow. Right, okay. That's gone. Poor. Maintenance facility. It needs to encompass these two. And ideally, not. We're gonna go with there, I guess. Sure. Oh. Oh. Oh, we've got a new. <coughs> oh god, excuse me. We've got a new window uh, of of things. So we've got temperature. We've got biome. Oh, we've got we've got two whole different biomes here. Yeah, that's nice. Um, and then we've got humidity. Oh my gosh! I don't know what this is, but it looks very complicated. This so we're seeing. The direction intensity of the winds as well as the air humidity. So we're currently seeing the... I was expecting there to be more like cell structure I guess. This is an obvious cell. Like this um, rotation all around the poles. This is a little bit like what happens with water around the south pole. You just get this kind of circular current going around the and this is, is obviously like that. Okay, it does kind of... Okay, we do have a, a cell structure of sorts, I suppose. But uh, normally the cells kind of... I would expect them to break at the equator, because that's where the Coriolis effect reverses. But what do I know? I'm not an expert. Oh, I like how it, it breaks around the mountain. That's cool. This is a very cool view. Um, oh, if I click on this, it changes. Um, right, we need to get this done as quickly as possible. What I don't know is if these spare drones will be able to like go here, if they're clever enough for that or not. We'll find out. This guy's just slowly taking this over land. I have no idea why they do it this way, it's very daft. Oh, this is an iron mine that I can't build, I forgot about that. Because this worker hub's in slightly the wrong place, I guess. Maybe we'll fix that in a second as well. Uh, if I actually turn this off, well, that's not doing anything. I can sort of work on fixing this. Oh, there's some silicon. Oh my god, you actually found something! Well done! Congratulations! Actually, you did also find this ice in this thing. I shouldn't be so patronizing. Oh, 
sad. It takes time, resources, and effort to create each one of these workers. Goodbye, MRS-04. Your work made a difference here. Oh. Oh dear. I feel like I might have just lost two, actually. Because I'm definitely substantially below my, my capacity. <laughs> Traffic. Hmm. That's not good. So that means workers are a non-renewable resource. That's really not good. I wish I knew where he was. Where he died. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them. Uh, there's one guy carrying some stuff. Two. Three down here building that. Four. No, okay, there's nothing that seems to obviously be the, the dead one. Right, uh, well actually, now that you're empty, now is a perfect time to scrap you. And we'll put down a new one. Just a little ways away. Where's the power? That's maintenance. And over here. Oh, we're well off. We got all the bags in. We put one down there, that'll be fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, we also want to up priority that. Well, do we? We've now got 30 out of 30. But but how do I get the six spare ones to go over here? Can I get the six spare ones to go over here? Is that even possible? I wish I could down priority this. Um, is there a way to see where my drones are? Like where the six spare ones are. You've got six. Chill it out. You've got twelve. I don't know how to get them over here though. I can't like manage them individually. Okay. Well, either they'll find their way over or they won't, I guess. There's not much I can do about it. Either way. <laughs> Maybe you'll just have loads of, of spare drones for ages. Who knows? <clears throat> oh, that one's got built already. Fantastic. Now, uh, once that's gone, we can build an iron mine there. Uh. We've also, in theory, got plenty of power, so we can afford to scrap this. <laughs> nope, that's gone. I can go there, but it's not a priority, really. How's our colony doing? Oh my god, it's on Mars! Oh my god, we've got all the extra colonists! Haha! <laughs> wow! It's 84 in there. Oh, okay. Oh, a bunch of colonists have immediately left again. That's fine. I guess. Alright, oh, Iron Mine is, is on its way. 
solar farm is being deconstructed. I don't know what happens to these once this is deconstructed. Hopefully it shouldn't be too long of like an interim because I'm just going to build a chemical plant here straight away. Right, so chemicals and ice are kind of our most precious resource because they, they, they turn into research. And if we run out of that, then we run out of research. Um, <laughs> to fully terraform Mars, we must convert the planet into an Earth-like habitat. Mm -hmm. The first step is to raise the planet... I know, I know, I know, okay? I'm working on it. Point, <laughs> all the carbon dioxide trapped in the dry ice caps will be released. I'm working on it. Okay, you've decided you are going to make your own worker drones. Maybe if I'd connected it up to this, then actually there would be... It's fine. It's fine. Uh, uh-oh. Are we in the sandstorm? No. Why have we got a power shortage? We had plus 50 power before. Now we are at a power deficit. <coughs> Why you gotta do me like this game? Um, okay. Ah, okay, it's because this is not connected to the grid now. I see. Okay. Gotcha. I see why this was a problem for you. Um, where do I want to build that? So that ideally links up these two things. Here would be great. That should be fine, right? Okay. I'm going to up priority this. Actually, strictly speaking, we didn't need another one, but we're going to need one at some point to cover that, so, you know. Might as well do it now. Right. Okay. Once that's built. Um. This will be sort of fine. Oh, that's just outside of my maintenance spot as well, how annoying. <laughs> right, we're gonna research advanced colonies, build an advanced colony, and then probably research additional landing sites so we can get over to the superior colonies would also be nice. <laughs> Maybe I should just be beelining this. Maybe I should be beelining colonists for now. So I can get most bang for my buck. Yeah, okay, I know. It's fine. Yeah, get most bang for my buck out of, um... Oh, this is very close. If this goes to that worker hub... Wait, where are you headed? You are you headed to this worker hub. Okay. Are you still producing power? You are. Even though you're not linked up by road. That's great. We're gonna put this down anyway. To link you up by road. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, we need this glass up here as quickly as possible, please. Oh my god. It's so annoying they won't just take this straight to here. Because you could de disassemble that and bring it entirely all the way up to here and it would be just fine. <laughs> um, but they won't do that. And so instead we're going to have to deal with losses of power. It's fine. So the, the scanners we can do without, and the space pod is not super important. The iron mine it's annoying to lose, but we've got the, the food and water, which is the important thing. 
Um, apparently it's pending departure 7. Which is a bit of a shame. 200 people come, 7 immediately want to leave. Right, okay, now you can bring this over here, you can build this, and we can fix up our problems, please. <laughs> ah, advanced colonies. Basic colony that houses 250 colonists. Tech tree. Right, get me more colonists, please, I think. Okay. Da -da -da, everything's linked up. Our grid is now a functioning grid again. It's marvellous. Uh, this is not a super high priority, but it's nice to get it done. Um... I maybe wanted to consider putting down another silicon mine, didn't I? On this silicon here. There we go, let's plot that. Um... We really are mostly just kind of searching out more sources of ice. Ice is the real kicker. Ice is the thing I'm really worried about. This is the nearest large body of ice, and I don't know how to get to it. I can only guess as to how to get to it. Okay, so we're gonna get Biotech 1, which will increase our colonist cap. Uh, and then we will get so this will increase our colonist cap to 700, plus 750. What's our current colonist cap? 250, okay. So we'll be able to have four advanced colonies, at most. So I'll replace our regular colonies with advanced colonies. Um, maybe put an advanced colony, like, here. Uh... And then, having done that, we'll get rid of the, we'll dismantle the, the regular Joe colonies. In the meantime, hopefully our scanners will come up with some more ice. But I don't think our colony is going to be increasing in size very much in the near future. We can actually... Oh, a lot of these chemicals are outside of our maintenance circles. This one isn't, so we can plop a mine on this. Pop that down. That's in range. I'm not sure if it's close enough to build on it. Is okay. Build on that one. As is this. Okay. So we can get a few mines going. Um. We've got a little mining hub down here, which is nice. Uh, the fact that it <coughs> happens to be close to some colony stuff is great too. <laughs> now we for carbon. There's a deep vein of carbon there, which isn't very helpful to us. There's a shallow vein of carbon here. It is in our maintenance and thingy circles. So let's pop a carbon mine down there. It's not very close to a factory, which is unfortunate. But that's not the end of the world. How are the colonists doing? 
No pending departures, which is good. Population efficiency is apparently 100%. Whatever that means. <laughs> I don't know what population efficiency is, but we've got some. Biological technologies are a crucial part of the terraforming plan. It is wise to get started on this research. Yep. I think this has been a good order of research. Like, we needed more buildings. We needed more buildings. And then straight into more colonists, so we're more time efficient in research, and advanced colonies. Wait, have I already have I researched this already? Can I actually build these now? I can. Can I upgrade an existing colony? <gasps> I can! Oh, I don't even need to mess around with them. Oh, fantastic news. I also sort of forgot that I'd already researched that. Whoops. But yeah, this is a, this is a good order of research. Um, upgrade our colony so they're better. Increase our colony, increase our colonist capacity. I think it's gonna be fine. Uh. Right, so this is going to go well. Fantastic. We're going to be so much more efficient. It's going to be glorious. And then we're going to get more colonists, and then we're going to get superior colonies. And I... Like, maybe this beforehand to get the ice? Maybe. But I think that's it, really. Like, that's the only thing we might want to do first. Uh, hmm. I like, like, I'd like my... My science production is, in, as a rule, to be as efficient as possible. And this... Must be on an adaptable crater connected to the water supply network. Yeah, so until I have, like, water supply online, that's this, the superior colony is as good as I can get in terms of efficiency. <gasps> more ice! We found more ice. No, I need the, the power grid. We're apparently a bit shy. I'm not sure. Oh, we're a bit shy because our... Uh, mm, yeah, that would do it. Where's our maintenance bubble? Okay. And this is ice, right? No, that's ice. What's this? That's silicon, that's okay. Okay, this needs to be priority, because we're a bit short on power. You are slow, oh, it's because you're on a crater edge there. There's a thing, some transit to Earth. That's fine. Ooh. Needs authorization to unlock. But I guess these are places to put satellites. You come down here. We need one more electronics. Here it comes. And then we'll be in the power surplus again. 
Research completed. Come on, biotechnology. Right, we can now afford loads and loads of colonists. Fantastic. This we don't need until we've gone quite far up the thingy tree. Ah, oh, I'm going to research this straight away. <laughs> Compiling autosave. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Let's do a manual save. Confirm. There we go. That's kind of pretty dang important. Uh, that's also going to be priority after this is finished. Uh, we need someone here to actually build this stuff. Uh, we probably need a worker hub down here as well. Just thinking. That will do us well. Okay, let's make a worker hub. So there's a dedicated boy. There we go. <laughs> okay, we're back at power surplus. That's not going to take too much power. Oh yeah, I did ask to build a whole bunch of things, didn't I? That's why we were at a power deficit, because I was like, oh yeah, just build all of the mines, for sure. I'm, I'm mostly limited by my maintenance circles at this point in time. Like, I've been unwilling to build too many maintenance facilities. Um... I should probably think about building one over here. So like there-ish, so just south of that crater. And I've got to think about the best way to get over to that. It's going to be there. And then... Uh, I'll probably want to put a worker hub in between. Then a maintenance facility up here to cover whatever we might want to build. Okay, that's the plan. And I think this solar plant should account for those two buildings. I might need another solar farm for the other mines I want to build. That sounds likely. Um, so let's save there, and then we'll up priority these two. Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that noise at all. I don't know what that was. Um, our food is a little low. Now, ice is even lower. <sighs> this is not good news. We do not have enough ice. We just don't have enough ice. Um, do the advanced mining techs... I don't know where they are. I assume they're here. Advanced factories. <sighs> um, advanced factories. There's advanced mines. Are they more efficient? No. Well, they, they do it faster. Bother. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm hindered by the amount of ice I can possibly find at the moment. I 
I should probably turn this off because I don't want to gather any more colonists just yet. Um, and I probably want to turn this off. Can I tell you guys to move? No, okay. Will you move on your own? Yes, you will. Oh look! There's the uh, airships. The Mars blimps. Okay. Right, so now we're only supplying one colony, which is probably good logistically, maybe. Um, right, I just, I need more ice. I don't know how to increase the amount of ice I get until I can find more ice. Apart it's because this is halted. This is halted as well. So maybe I need to actually just make another food factory? Question mark? That's on that seems silly. <laughs> Although we are like barely balancing food supplies at the moment. So maybe another food factory isn't such a terrible idea. that we're going to build more power supply. <sighs> yeah, I'm held back by the amount of ice I can produce. Um, and until I find more ice, there's nothing I can do. I could build a new scanner. Theoretically. I could even build two new scanners, theoretically. Uh, how much do they cost? Aerological scanner. They're not very expensive. Build one down here. Over this whole area. Build one. That will have power. And get scanning, basically. Right, as soon as we've done this. This needs to be priority, and then we can turn all of these onto priority as well. Uh, okay, we'll just wait for some to actually build you. Right, okay. <laughs> right, we're getting done. I don't know why this is priority, it shouldn't be. Turn that on because I know it's going to need stuff. As soon as this is built, it should be built fairly soon. Hmm. And water. Water is the problem. We're building our superior colonies to be more water efficient. Is great news. Um, this, this, we don't like. We there's no point with that at all. <sighs> I 
I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of any of these ways of getting the planet warm apart from greenhouse gas imports. Uh, and it's eight 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 eight. That is eight 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 eight. Eight doesn't require the uranium. I don't really know what I'm doing necessarily. It's probably fine. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't have maintenance yet, we're working on it. I'm just waiting on someone to come build you, apparently. Here we come. How's this doing? It's got some resources. Okay. Let the worker have go. This work factory is still needing some stuff. Apparently we've got a massive power surplus. We won't forever because we're building a lot of mines. Actually we're building a lot of everything. Um, <clears throat> hmm. It's a long way to ice. Okay, after we've done the superior colonies, I guess we're going to have to unlock this additional landing sites, because I'm assuming that's what gates having access to new areas. I can't think of anything else that would do it that I've seen. So I'm assuming it's that. We could plonk a landing site... ...like here, and hopefully it comes with some scanning that... Uh, We'll just grab a lot of ice already from there and we can bring it along. That's the idea anyway. How are we doing, worker factory? Needs input still. Something's being built. Ah, aerological scanner, fantastic. Okay, please find me some more ice. I desperately need ice. I mean, this is a, a roughly sensible distribution of scanners that I've got, because like, this is where I started. I've put one a little bit to the north, and then I've done a square of them. Larger colonies will allow for efficient use of space and resources, but it will require a better supply chain. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. Apparently... We're in the green at the moment. I don't know why. We oughtn't to be, but apparently we are. Right, okay. We've got plenty of food. We have a massive food stockpile, actually. So that's kind of fine. Maybe this doesn't need to be priority. I don't think we find it out being priority. Um. Okay. How are you doing? Are you, you're producing. Okay, fantastic. Uh, the scanner is scanning. That's good news. Okay, the maintenance facility needs just some polymers. That's fine. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I've, I've now upped us to six maintenance facilities, so we've got six areas that we can cover. I'm waiting for someone to come and build you. Oh, wait, no, you need more aluminium. No, more aluminium. Please build? No, okay, fine. Someone else is going to come build. Use the side of these wandering off. 
Ah, fantastic. And you're fine. Uh, you no longer need to be priority either. That's good. Right, okay, we're getting to scan. Found some aluminium and some iron already, which is great. You're doing really good. The scanner hasn't found anything yet, but you will, it's fine. Uh this scan is a, this scan is still scanning. Like it's blocked a huge area. It's still still going. I don't know if they ever like if they have a maximum range. I haven't found it yet. <laughs> if they do. Okay, we're doing all right mostly. Uh, our ice demand seems to be okay at the moment. They seem to be okay for ice and food. Um, against my better judgement, I'm going to open up this other house. Oh. Alright, there we go. I'm going to try and get in another bunch of colonists. Oh, you decide to come down here. I'm not sure why, but I, okay, sure, I guess. Is that really more efficient? Maybe, who knows. We're bringing in more people either way, so we can hopefully get some of these things done more quickly. <laughs> uh, how are we doing in terms of traffic? I could maybe do with another worker hub down here. Thinking. Possibly. Uh, can I already build a mine on this thing? I can, I can. I don't need one there then. Uh, where fills the space? Kind of down here ish, ideally. There. <laughs> Worker hub. And we'll say that's going to be priority, I guess. We'll say that's going to be priority, I guess. Uh, how many other buildings do I have? Two for you, and then Are everything else built. I think everything else is now built, and we're okay for power. So that's good, that's chill. <sighs> okay. We're doing just fine for now. I'd like someone to come actually build this, please. The worker hub's built. This requires uh, an electronics. Please give me electronics. Fantastic. I'll actually leave that on until this is filled, because it might help. <sighs> you found some more chemicals, which is nice. Um, look at the sprawl. Also, listen to this music. I hope this doesn't get me um, copyright struck on YouTube, Jesus. What time is it? Oh my goodness gracious, it is quarter to three. Um, we are nearly finished for today. I've been having a blast playing this. This is so good. I love this game. Even though, I, like, <laughs> this is our next mission and it's so far away. It's so far away. 
<laughs> um. Oh, I guess time pauses while we're in here. I hadn't quite tweaked that. Yeah. Working on superior colonies. Um. Superior colonies and then landing sites. And then. I guess working towards the space mirror? For lack of anything better to do? I'm not a huge fan of the space mirror. As a. as a concept. The black polar dust. I mean, it's just carbon dust, right? That's what we're sprinkling it for. There's nothing special about it, is there? Um. So that's not like a terrible thing to do. It has the disadvantage of being. Um. Like, it, 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 in one sense, it's less effective, because it, it decreases the planet's albedo. Uh, which means... Oh, you've got your little drone by heavy now. It's fantastic. Uh, you don't need to be up priority either, then. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so it, it, it's only effective as long as there's ice cap there. Because once the ice cap melts, then the, the difference between the black powder and the raw Martian soil underneath is not a big difference anymore. <laughs> so I feel like using it to melt the ice caps is a bit self-defeating, because you melt the ice caps well, I don't know. Because once you melt the ice caps, the, the, the thing's just black anyway, right? So it already has the lower albedo. But just the raw ice caps on their own can't possibly be um, enough to... So just the, the raw poles with soil on them on their own can't be enough to stop ice forming. Can't be, they can't keep the planet warm enough on their own, because otherwise there wouldn't be an ice cap. You are finding all of the things! Wow! Aerological scanner number three! Congratulations! <laughs> you, oh, bloody hell! You found some iron that's immediately, like, really inconveniently placed. <laughs> because of course you have. Um, that's fine. Apparently I'm at 8 out of 9? I'm not quite sure how that they figure that out. Hang on. 1, 2, 3... 4, 5... 6, 7, 8... And then 9 for the home, I guess? Okay, that is... the correct number, but I... Maybe one of them died? Do they? Did they die? I don't really know. Um, are you currently making one? You are currently making one, okay. Right, in which case what I'm going to do is... Look at hub. I'm going to pop... There's a server that's going to... Yes, okay. I'm going to pop one down here. I'm going to say, scrap this. And I guess I want another worker drone somewhere. No, this is fine. This is the correct number. Right, so we're scrapping this and then we're going to hopefully take all the materials over here, basically. Um, or not, so we're going to go somewhere else. Should be a priority actually. And then we can put an iron mine there as and when we need one. As it is, we shouldn't need very much traffic up there. We don't need the iron mine just yet, I don't think. 
Oh, well, we currently are having a, an iron deficit per month, theoretically. So why not, I guess? Uh, okay, uh, are we in a sandstorm? We are in a sandstorm. Uh, active for 28 souls. We need more power at some point. We're not going to get it. Um, basically, it's moderately sensible about which ones it turns off first. And scanners, the spaceport. These are all things we can do without. We should have enough stockpile for everything for this anyway. We need someone to come build this, and I bet they're not going to want to do I bet it's going to be this guy who needs to go and build this. Because he works at the nearest worker hub. God damn it. On the plus side, having worker hubs means that it's a lot quicker to dismantle stuff than when we had to take it all the way back to the landing site. That was disastrous. 11 days. That's fine. We can cope for 11 days. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's the parts factory, it's the electronics factory, it's the glass factory, it's the scanners. They're not super vital. <laughs> Now the things we want to be shutting off first, uh, the game is sensible enough to shut them off first. Okay, uh, Sandstorm's over, Sandstorm's over, fantastic. How much does this consume? It consumes five. We probably, we're gonna plop it down, we need another. Uh, one of these, but that's fine, we're always gonna. Uh, I guess. Let's put it out here, so that we're covering that plant. This is a scanned area. Let's say that's priority as well. I'm wondering if it's smarter to connect up around here so that the connection stays once water starts to arrive. Well, I don't know if we're ever going to be able to research these stupid things. Like, it's very annoying having them here saying you're allowed to build a research outpost on them when research outposts are, like, not really much of a thing. But, uh... Or if, if if it would just tell me how to get a research lab, I find that quite irksome. I wonder if it's in any of the previous missions. Mon two. Mangalian two. Second punch mission from the Indian Space Research Organization. Okay, fine. Yeah, Well, apparently we have nuclear fusion rockets. <laughs> Jesus. They studied the corrosive effects of Martian dust on their own robotic circuits. Wow. Okay, wherever this this supposed um Chinese base is that someone mentioned, I can't look and find it anything. Uh, also, well, okay, we're not close to the reaching the southern extent of where we're allowed to go. We're a little close to the north, that's fine. We've got loads of room. Um, room is pretty much never a problem in, in the first, like, four-fifths of a game like this. Oh. <sighs> 
this colony type takes ages. It's gonna be worth it, but it takes ages. Um, and I'm still worried about ice a little bit. Right, apparently, we're currently in the in the red for ice again. We're gonna have more people soon. Someone better come through with ice. <laughs> We've got a we've got a large stockpile of ice. We have enough ice stockpiled, I'm pretty sure. Uh well we're currently converting um, where's our colony? We currently convert five ice into sixty research points. Uh seven fifty divided by sixty is about twelve? So we've got, we should theoretically easily have enough ice stockpiled. We've got enough food stockpiled as well, we should have easily enough ice stockpiled for getting us through this research and the next one. Oh, it's 12 times 5, which is 60. Okay. We're, we're, we're running a deficit, but it's it's fine for now. Partly it's because our ice mines are backed up. Maybe I should make you priority. Actually, can I? I can apparently select our buildings by type, can't I? Mines. If I up priority all of the ice jelly plants, I wonder if they'll be. Our theoretical potential production is equal to our theoretical potential demand, which is good. That means we might not be in the black forever. We're in the red forever. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Um, but I do need to find more ice sources. And some of the early ones I found, how much have we got? We've only got 394 left. I'm not super happy about the ice situation. I won't lie to you. The ice is not, is not making me feel good. You found loads of stuff, but sadly no ice. It's a real shame. You found hardly anything but some ice, which is pretty good. You found hardly anything and no ice. Uh -uh. How long? Six days. Wait for it to hit. Boom. Okay, we are fine. Our demand and our production are not so different that I'm worried straight away. And if we... If I can get lots of ice from here, then we're, we're gone. Um, although, it's quite the logistical effort to move all of our ice from over here to over there. Hmm. Hmm. How are we doing for chemicals? Oh, apparently we're really, really quite short on chemical production as well. Okay, that's fine. We've got, we've got chemical sources just waiting for us. 
Oh, you're just outside. That's so annoying. You're also just outside. That's also so annoying. So are you. You're just outside in three different directions. What's wrong with you? God damn it. Um... What's perhaps worse is I, I don't know what the consequences are going to be for linking up all of these different sectors. Like, it might increase the efficiency, or it might radically be a massive problem. <laughs> and I have no way of knowing which. Um, what's also annoying is that this is not a direction I'm particularly looking to expand in, because they're not an over here. Well, there's more chemicals this way, I guess. Okay, so... I guess what I want is a maintenance facility sort of here-ish. Alright? Oh! I can actually plop that down. I hadn't realised I could plop things down. I can plop you over here to cover that maintenance facility. For sure. And then a worker hub. Down here. Okay. Right. Let's up priority move you, I guess. <laughs> oh, blast. Except. This is a deep vein that I can't use yet. So, we're gonna scrap that. <laughs> we're gonna scrap that idea because it sucks. Um, <laughs> okay, so the question becomes do I want one here or do I want one down here? I guess this gets us closer to Huygens. Which we can access, theoretically, inside our current space. So I guess we're going in this direction. Okay, we'll plop it down. I think it's going to link up all of these three into one big mega sector. I'm not a fan. Uh, and we'll be able to link these up with just these two. Which is fine. Okay. Uh, this needs to be up. <laughs> and then we'll be able to build the chemical. Well, we can build it now, um, but we need to not up priority it. Uh, I don't know why you're carrying something over this way. I don't know where that's from, but okay. Weird. Don't know what you're doing, it's weird. Oh, hello! Dust Devil. Right. Okay. So we're gonna come along here and absolutely savage that! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I think we've just scanned these two things. Um, that are... Just outside of where we've just built our new maintenance thing, because goddammit. <laughs> uh... I suppose you found any more ice while I've not been looking. 
Nope, it's okay. Right. So we took a little bit of a battering, but we're fine now. Got all our polymers, we need electronics and steel. How's our colony ship coming? It's oh my god, they've arrived! Okay, 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 okay. Right, okay. I think we're okay. I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> um. <clears throat> At least for now. <laughs> um, oh dear, it's scary. It's very scary. Um, I should probably also be uh, upgrading all of my chemical plants as well. Yeah, okay. Maybe this one wasn't ideal out of the two of them, because it has less in it, but I'm sure it's fine. <sighs> we found some aluminium out here. That's nice. Is this in or out of our area? Because I've just realised that this overlay is above the surface. So like, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Well, I guess when we're above, directly above it. Hmm, that can't be right. I think it's out of our area. But it is difficult to tell. Oh! Are you kidding me? I could have sworn I saw this! God damn it! Uh, oh well, that's a massive aluminium thing. Okay, well we found some more chemicals that I can't put a chemical plant on. Theoretically I can afford to get rid of this solar farm. Theoretically. It might knack on my power grid if I do. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to make a new one over here. Luckily, scrapping is perfectly efficient. Do I want this? I'm not sure if I want more colour this way. At least not until I've discovered some more ice. No, actually, I tell a light, that's fine. We've got we we are increasing in ice over time. I think we're doing okay. <laughs> oh wow, that went up quick! Dang. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, this doesn't cover anything that level one didn't. I didn't think it did, but it's good to have it confirmed.
I love these little monitors. Oh my god, it's quarter past three. We should really be, uh... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait until this solar farm is, is gone, and then we'll plop a chemical plant on it, and that's where we'll end for today, because I let time run away from me there. Uh, it happens sometimes. It's fine. You're finding all the stuff. Good job. You found, in the middle of the chemical valley, you found some silicon, which is lovely. Uh... <laughs> this is the little spike when one was active and then it was the other one was decreased. Um... <laughs> oh boy. Gosh, this game is so... you get so immersed in it, you forget what's going on. You absolutely do. How much stockpile do you have? Where are you going? Well, you're going to grab chemicals, I guess. Yeah. I'm not sure what our storage capacity is, but we have masses of storage capacity. I'm also not sure really why you took that down with you, but I guess, sure, why not? <laughs> Um, it would be really nice if someone came and finished this dang thing off. <laughs> oh, you're all being served by one worker bot. Hmm. Mayhap I need another worker hub in this area as well. Where's the best place for it? Probably over here? Sure. There we go. <laughs> and then you'll sort of be able- you'll- when we get mines on all of these you'll kind of link up with them quite easily. <laughs> No one is coming to service this rubble at all. They're all busy. What are you even doing? Oh, I guess you are slowly saying to this, perhaps. Uh, maybe if I make this a priority and this a priority. Oh, you're apparently waiting on something, I guess. You're waiting on this to be finished. Look, you don't need to bring new electronics. There's electronics sat right here. You daft thing. Oh, yeah, they'll take it on the way out. Oh, this was a genius idea that I didn't even think of. <laughs> uh, they, they take the resources from the old solar farm with them when they go away. Right, work hub in progress, and then this one hopefully will have more time to kind of service this. Right. So now you're producing. That's fantastic. Oh, hello. Oh! Oh, what a good place to end on. The aerological scanner detected an uncharted structure close by. Where? Where? Where did it do this? Where have we just scanned? Not that. I wish I knew which scanner it was. Hi. Unfortunately, the thing it's left. Probably a secret abandoned base. Oh, here! Hello! Unknown abandoned facility. A mysterious Martian ruin. <laughs> Though humans never found proof of life on Mars or any other planet. Is it possible they have the entire cosmos to themselves? Um, life can flash in many places. I highly doubt that's the case. Yeah. Statistically speaking, there are too many locations where life can flourish aside from Earth. 
There may even be a civilization more technologically advanced than humans. And I may not be the most intelligent person <laughs> in the Oh my god, Amy, stop being an evil AI, please! ...structure from the previous mission. That is the easiest explanation. I will investigate it to confirm. Okay, so we now have access to research outposts. This is great news. So this is the, the news I've been waiting for literally all session. We can now build research outposts. This is the best day ever. Uh, unfortunately, this is also the end of today. So, uh, <laughs> uh, if you have enjoyed watching, uh, uh, thank you very much for being here. And maybe, just maybe, consider uh, dropping me a follow. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, where I upload all of my archive content, consider hitting that like button and uh, maybe even subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Uh, I've, uh, it turns out, absolutely adore Paraspera. Uh, I've played one, maybe two, I think, other city builders before. There might be others coming if, if this specific colony builder isn't your thing. Uh, but I also play lots of other games there. Uh, uh, I also play lots of other games that are uploaded and archived there for all to see. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, at Diz for Demise, which is where I send out a tweet every time I go live, so you never have to miss one of these in the future. Uh, I will be back tomorrow at midday British time, playing... who knows. Uh, this is often how it goes. Uh, and same again on Saturday when I'll be playing some more of the Signal State. We might be reaching my limit for, for brain power for that game, so it may be part the Signal State, part something else, if I hit a wall. Uh, we'll see. Other than that, uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, my name has been Dizzy. Uh, I've been so lost in this game, it feels really weird to just kind of end it. Uh, but I'm so looking forward to the next time we play. Uh, until then, have a great time. Laters! <laughs>